What would a system of justice be like if the emphasis were on the victim's rights, needs, and compensation? Let's take a look at restorative justice. In a system with a primary emphasis on the victim rather than the offender, money would be spent on victim services rather than on prisons. It would be victims who would receive the job skills training, not offenders. Some of the money that now goes to law enforcement and corrections would be channeled to compensation programs for victims of personal and property crimes. Offenders would be peripheral figures. They'd be required to pay restitution to victims and punishment would occur only if they did not fulfill their obligation to their victims. Although the restorative justice movement does not propose quite this level of radical restructuring, it does dramatically redesign the justice system and offers a new alternative to retributive justice. Restorative justice is a term used to describe programs that seek to move compensation back to center stage in the justice system instead of retribution. A similar but not identical philosophy has been called peacemaking justice. Programs that require the offender to confront the victim and provide compensation, and programs that place the victim in the middle of the process of deciding what to do about the offender can be categorized under the restorative justice rubric. The propositions of this movement are as follows. Justice requires restoring victims, offenders, and communities who have been injured by a crime. Victims, offenders, and communities should have the opportunity to be a fully active part of the justice process. And government should restore order, but the community should establish peace. In retributive justice, the question is, who did it? Well, in restorative justice, the question is, what is the harm? In retributive justice, the question is, which laws were broken? Well, in restorative justice, the question is, what needs to be done to repair the harm? In retributive justice, the question is, what should the punishment be? Well, in restorative justice, the question is, who was responsible for this repair? One recent author noted that today's field of restorative justice can be broadly differentiated into four key areas. Victim-offender mediation schemes, conferencing based on the ancient concepts, peace circles, and the realm of international crimes. Victim Offender Mediation or Victim Offender Reconciliation programs involves victims and offenders meeting and agreeing upon restitution. While legal sanctions usually do not make the victim whole or change the offender, restorative justice attempts to do both. 